What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do an unboxing and review of the Open Rock X Open Ear Air Conducting Air Conduction rather earbuds. A uh, huge shout out to Open Rock for reaching out to the channel and supplying these earbuds for honest unboxing and review. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right in and talk price and specs. First, the price you can get these for one hundred sixty nine ninety nine. All right, as always, I'll leave links in the description to where you can uh, pick these up. As far as colors go, you got black, white, as you can see here. You got the Forbidden Red City Edition as well. I really want to try to uh, get a look at them. Hopefully, I can I get my hands on them and we can do a quick run through of how they look and everything here on the channel. As far as specs go, these guys rock Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support of only AAC and SPC. So there is no high res audio codec for these. As far as battery life, the earbuds can get up to 12 hours of playback uh, on a single charge. Whereas when you include the case, they can get up to 48 hours. All right. As far as fast charge, five minutes to get you an hour, an extra hour of playback time. Let's put it that way. And there is no wireless charging on these because this is a metal case. OK, as far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IPX5 waterproof. And when we talk features, uh, each earbud has a customized 14.2 millimeter dynamic driver with enhanced base. They have their LISO 2.0 algorithm for improved sound quality. You got comfort, you know, comfortable and secure fit with open ear design, unique adjustable biaxial uh, open ear design, excuse me, and unique biax adjustable biaxial design. So you got some. We'll talk about it when we break them out, but you got different ways to adjust these for uh, to get your uh, a more comfortable fit. As far as uh, calls go, you got four mics with AI algorithm for clear calls. Uh, you got uh, button controls on the on the earbuds, multi point connectivity, and app support. So let's go ahead and jump right into these. All right. Got that. I like the way the I like the presentation on this. I love this box. Very nice. All right. Let's pull that to the side here. All right. What we got here, we get this out. All right. You got your case for your earbuds. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's see what else we got in here. Hmm. Do we have anything else in here? I think we're missing some. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Gotta come back on this side. <laughs> Boy, I'm an idiot. All right, here we go. We got Rock Your World inside here. I believe would be your, yep. USB-A to USB-C charging cable. It's braided. Uh, very nice. I don't still don't understand why we're going with uh, USB-A. If anybody can understand why we're still using USB-A, uh, let me know. I know for some legacy devices and everything, but come on. All right, we got so your user's guide, your start menu. We got some safety information here, warrant, safety information. You know, we'll play around with, you know, we'll probably come back to the, uh, to the uh, box there or the uh, guide. And of course, looks like we've got Yes, looks like we got a nice little key ring that you can hook onto the case, and then you can have it hook you onto like a bag or something. Very nice included. Uh, they also opened up. They also supplied me with uh, this uh, mini carrying case. So while we're opening up everything, let's go ahead and open this up too. Take a quick look. Oh, that's nice. Almost like a jean type, a denim type material. Well, open box ring, open box, open rock. I don't know why I would say open box, open rock uh, branding on it. Okay, nice magnetic. Got its own little hook there. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this out. Get this out the way here for a second. And we'll take a look at the earbuds themselves. I like this case though. Very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and get this unraveled, unfrailed. I love this thing. You know what it is. 
All right, here we go. Uh, huge case. Very big. <laughs> All right. Of course, there's your loop. So if you want to um, run your uh, hook, your uh, hoop in, then you can connect it to everything. Open rock branding on the front. And let's go ahead and pull this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. You got the uh, earbud on one side, earbud on the other. Very nice. And you got branding here. You got left and right. Put it as close as so you guys can see. Le left here, right here. So if you have it sit, you know, and I like that you push it in, unlocks it, slides it down. You got a little click too to locks it in place so it stays. Very nice. Then, of course, you got your USB C port. Let's go ahead. You lock it in. USB C port is still visible for you to go ahead and charge while it's closed. And, of course, you have your pairing button there as well. All right. I think I had it upside down. Yeah. USB C pairing button. Very, very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and pull one of these out. I like the, the rubberized feel of it here. Okay, you got your you tilt here, and you got where you, let me put it this way so you can see. All right, you got it. This is straight. I guess the zero. You got a little bit of a, a of a adjustment there. You got this way. All right, you can go all the way down to there, and then of course and then we turn it this way. You can come all the way out to there and adjust it however, however you like. Let me go ahead and put this in, put this on real quick and take a quick picture so you can see what it looks like. All right, here's how it looks on the air. Got it sitting in really nice, very light, very comfortable. Kind of bright there with the reflecting off of my light because of the metal on here. Uh, but of course, you can see the open rock there on it. Very, very comfortable air, but to wear uh, so to wear long term. And as you can see here, you got your button controls here at the bottom. Very, very nice. Okay, I love the fact, let's go ahead and pull the plastic off so these guys can get a charge. There we go. Let's go ahead and flip this over to the other side, do the same thing for the other side. All right. There we go. Very nice. Now they're both getting the charge. Ah, oh, that's that's nice. Let's go ahead and uh throw the hook on here. Let's see what we can do here. I think we can do this real fast. Boom, there you go. So now you can go ahead and hook it onto a belt or anything like that. Or if you don't wanna carry around uh, this heavy, this big uh, case, you can easily use the, you can use, use the, uh, this carrying case. I can get this out, pop one in, drop one there. Drop the other there. And now you got your, ear, your earbuds in the case. In the carrying case, a little lighter. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot charge because you need the base, but you still can carry. You can still even hook it up to a bag and rock out just like that. This is a very nice uh, accessory to have if you don't want to walk around with the the big the big boy uh in a bag or anything like that you can just go ahead with this all right so let's go ahead and uh, get these guys paired up and take a walk through the app stay strapped in all right let's go ahead and get these guys paired up we're going to put the guy let's put our phone real quick into uh pairing mode we're going to go ahead and get it down here already there is no uh fast pair or anything like that for these earbuds, so we're gonna open it up, see if it automatically picks it. It automatically picked it up as soon as I opened it. 
Let's go ahead and hit pair. Yes. We got the volume rocker. We are all paired up. There you go. So let me see what options do they offer us there. Just regular uh, options there. Nothing, no bells and whistles. So let's go ahead and pull these guys out. And we're going to just to make sure we stay connected here. Okay. And let's go ahead and dive into the app. I just went ahead off camera and just, uh, and just installed it. Open Rock app. All right, let me go ahead and uh, pull this out to the front screen. All right, user agreement. Let's back out. All right, accept. All right, there we go. We got the open rock. Yes, we know all that first time use and everything. It gave us our controls and everything. Very nice. Okay. We use button controls and everything else. Oh, all right. Well, okay. Let's back up. Add device. Authorize. Yes. While you okay. A lot of stuff we gotta go through here. Come on now. Guess there's a lot to go, a lot going on in here. We're doing this live. All right, here we go. All right, there's an update. So we're gonna go ahead and run this update real quick, and then we'll come back and take a walk through the app. All right, back in with got the update finished. Let's go ahead and quickly walk through the app. As you see here, uh, you got the name of the earbuds at the top. Over here on the right, you got three dots, three dots there. You go in there, you can go ahead and switch devices if you have multiple devices uh i'm thinking uh multiple open rock devices you can switch between them you can disconnect the device remove the device altogether from the app then of course you got your product menu product help and feedback all right as we come back uh to the main page here you got right here in the center you got a picture of the earbuds and right below you got the battery levels of both left right earbud as well as the case that's nice of course, real quick, and this right arrow here takes you back to where you can add a device. Oops, see, I done messed up. <laughs> uh, the messed up. Uh, just mess, uh, that was, sorry about that. All right, moving down, you got the equalizer where you got your presets. You got rock mode, relax mode, boom mode. And then, of course, you got custom. You tap on that. There you go. You got yourself a nice uh, seven digit or a seven graph equalizer where you can go ahead and fine tune them yourself. All right. We'll play with that later on. Moving down, you got your max volume limiter. Basically you can turn it on and set it to, I believe it was about 80%. Uh, oh no, you can go ahead and create your own uh, volume level from that, from what it looks like. Um, that way, you know, you're not damaging your, uh, hearing or anything like that. All right. And of course you got your over, Overtime wear reminder. This basically lets you know that hey, you've had these on for X amount of time. Uh, I can set mine. You can set it for four, as far as four hours or as low as thirty minutes. I will keep it on never, because uh, I, I don't think I would need to be reminded that I had earbuds. <laughs> then of course you got your gesture controls. Go in for your left and right earbud, and the only one that you can adjust is the long press. Um, right now it's at, you know, my left is at volume down, right is at volume up that came standard right up. as soon as I, uh, opened up, as soon as I connected to the app and I'm going to leave it there. I like that there, um, being able to control that. All the other ones are fixed to the single tap, single press, double press and triple press. I like that. Um, so you can do it and it's the same on both, uh, both devices. They're fixed. You cannot change them. All right, so I wish we could because I would definitely change these two. But that it is what it is. All right, so then moving on down, you got spatial sound. Gives you that, of course, that spatial audio sound to it. We'll test that out during the sound test. You got your sound balance. So in case you are, uh, you know, your hearing is a little bit better on one, in one ear than the other, you can go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and make and change that and adjust it accordingly. I like the fact that they have that here in the app. Uh, auto power off. 
Again, you can set that for 60 minutes all the way down to never, where they will automatically shut off to save battery life. I keep that at never. Then, of course, you got, <clears throat> excuse me, and of course, you got voice prompts. Right now, there's only two in there. I think Japanese and English. Of course, you know, we take. Then you can do find my buds. All right. So you can do that. And let's go ahead and try this real quick. Is it this one? Yep, this one. Very loud. So that's a nice, nice loud sound. All right. So that way you can find in case you like lose it or something. Very nice, and of course you got your firmware version here at the bottom in case you need to go in and do an update. Of course, you know, we just did that, so there you go. All right, so that is a quick walkthrough of the Open Rocks app for the Open Rocks X earbuds. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna do now is test the multi-point uh, connectivity for these earbuds. Uh, we already know that we have it all set up here on the uh, Z Fold 6. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth here. We're gonna pop these guys back into their, their case. All right. And we're gonna put these guys in uh, pairing mode. First, let me go ahead and slide down my, uh, get myself ready here on the Tab S8 Ultra. All right, we're going to go all the way down here, try to save some time. All right, boom, it already sees them. So I put them back in the case. They already picked up. Let's go ahead and pair. I like how fast that is. Very nice. All right, so now, as you can see, we got our slide, our volume rocker, volume slider, rather, and then we got it up here as being paired. So we can go ahead and take these back out, close the case. All right, we'll go back over to the Z Fold. Six, turn Bluetooth back on. All right, it's gonna connect. Now notice it's still connected here. Let's see if it does it. We're doing this in real time. Let's go into details. All right, it's already showing, in the, showing it connected to both devices, all right? Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and test this. We're going to put these in real quick. We'll put them on since they don't go in the air. All right, there we go. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get some audio, get some video up. We're going to go ahead and uh, get a couple of our couple of videos playing here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we're gonna pause this one and get this guy ready. Pause that one. All right, there we go. We got videos on both. And here we go. We're gonna start with the Z Fold 6. Let me slide this over. Whoops, let me slide this over so you guys get back and get in the camera shot here. That's <laughs> my ultra is huge. All right, here we go. All right, we got audio playing here out of the Z Fold 6. We're going to go ahead and pause that. Let's go over to the Tab S8 Ultra. All right, took a, a, about a second for it to switch over, but I got audio playing out of the tablet. Now, what we want to do next is we're going to go and see if we have audio switching. I mean, we got audio playing here on the tablet. We're going to see if I hit play here on the Z Fold 6 and see if it automatically switches over. Here we go. No audio switching. It's trying to play audio from both devices at the same time. So we do have uh, multi-point connectivity, but no audio switching. Again, not a deal breaker for me, but I'd love to have that feature, hopefully in a future up uh, firmware update. Let's continue. All right, what we will test now is the multi-point, or not multi-point, sorry, but the Mono mode feature for these guys. We're gonna go ahead and try them on both both cases. All right, we're gonna put one in the air and see if the other one will play while the other one is charging up. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got audio. All right, we're getting audio out of the earbuds now. So we're gonna go ahead. First, we're gonna start off with the the standard case. 
I'm going to start with the uh, left earbud. Drop it in. Close it. Audio is still playing. Let's go ahead and drop it into the denim case as well. Audio is still playing. So you can use one. All right. Let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, right earbud. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and drop him in. Close it. Audio is still playing here. Let's go ahead and go ahead and drop him into the into the case into the denim case. Closes out. And the audio is still playing, so you can definitely use these individually, doubling their battery life. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna do now is a uh, button control test. Now, this happens on both the left and right earbuds, so we're only gonna show it on one. Um, so they're like again, the double, triple, double sing, double uh, sing. Listen at me. The single, double, and triple tap features are locked in. So you can't change them in the app at all. Only one you can change is the long press, but you know how we got that going on. All right, so we got the right ear earbud in hand right now. Then we got the butt, the push button here. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead, single tap, we'll play and pause on both, again, these are on both left and right earbuds. It will play and pause and also answer uh, in phone calls, okay? So we're gonna hit, since we're not calling anybody, let's go ahead and hit, Press one for play. All right, I'm playing audio now. I got audio coming out. So now what we're gonna do is you press it again to pause. All right, takes a, uh, about a second, but it, it uh, does actuate. All right, so now the good thing is, let me see, uh, we're gonna try it here, but I think you have to be playing music in order to go to the next song, but we're gonna test it here. We're pause here. We're gonna double tap, double press. Yeah, it didn't go anywhere. So we have to play. Hit play first. Now, if you want to, now while it's playing, if you want to switch to the next uh, next song, double press one two. Switched over to the next song. Now, if you and then of course, if the call's coming in with the double press, you can reject the call and send them the voicemail. All right. Now, if you want to go back to the previous song or the beginning, you want to triple press one one. Let me see. My nails is kind of short, but one two three. It took me back to the beginning, one, two, three, and now I'm back to the uh, previous song, okay? Now, with the right earbud, I have it where it turns up uh, the volume. I left it as it is, so if I press and hold, see how the volume's going up? All right, now if we pull the left one, and then press and hold. Let me get that in there, we press and hold there. See the volume going down. So all the uh, controls do work. Let me pause that. All the controls do work on these. It takes maybe about a second at the beginning, but the more you use it, the faster they uh, recognize uh, and react to your uh, your uh, request there. Let's continue. This is a mic test for the Overwatch X for earbuds in the quiet location. This is a mic test with the Open Rock X for earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Open Rock X earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Open Rock X earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are outside for an ambient sound test. We got the Open Rock, sorry, Open Rock X earbuds in. And right now we just gonna see how loud I can have my audio while walking down the street with ambient noise, as you can hear, we got cars riding past, we got wind noise, birds chirping. It's a beautiful day out, beautiful fall day. So right now what we're gonna do, we'll pull out the phone and we're gonna go ahead and get some audio playing. We're gonna pull up, right now, we're gonna pull up some music. Right now, I just wanna show you guys, we're at 50% volume. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit play. All right, so right now, 
We're at 50% volume. And it sounds really good. Very clear. Nice and loud, but not too loud. I think it's not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and go up to 65%. All right, we're at 65% now. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but again, this is my sweet spot. I still hear the cars riding past. I can still hear any type of uh, audio, but, uh, and I can still hear my, uh, my music being played very loud. Well, not loud, but loud enough. All right, let's go ahead and try some open, some spoken word. We will pause this. We will pull up my audio book. All right, we got some audio book up and we're doing spoken word and it's coming through nice and crisp and clear as well. Not worried about any type of, uh, any type of uh, flooding out from the ambient sound. So I can still hear my audio. I can still hear the traffic. They're doing a really good job. The only one thing that you gotta be mindful of is using these when wearing sunglasses. I get kind of a loose flappy feel here even with after adjusting them. So you wanna make sure you do that. All right, so let me move back down this way. So they do a really good job with the ambient sound and everything. Again, like I said, I can hear my man's car banging and everything. It all sounds good. So this has been an ambient sound test for the Open Rocks X earbuds. Really good job on the ambient sound. All right, back in. What we're gonna do now is the sound test. We are in the app, and I just wanna quickly show you my custom EQ setting here. I'm going with that hard V shape. I like that. Uh, I wanna hit and mess that up. <laughs> I like that there. So that's what we're going with. And we're gonna play around with the uh, spatial sound feature as well during this, just to see if there if we could tell the difference again uh, you got that, you know, because these are of the open air uh, genre or form factor. Uh, we want to see if this if it's going to uh, make any difference. All right, so let's go ahead. We got our first song queued up. We are in optimal. I'm gonna go right here, about 65%. I don't want to do too much sound leakage and getting a copyright strike or anything like that. So let's go ahead and we will start there. And let's go ahead and hit play. Let me back this up. All right, here we go. All right, we're at 65%. Nice, nice and clear. Very nice. Let's see what we get with the background vocalist. Nice sound stage. Again, we're not even have spatial audio on, but that nice and clear, nice distance between them. Uh, let's go ahead and flip over to sound, spatial sound. Okay, now it seems like the uh, lead vocalist is now a little bit more pronounced. Still very clear, nice uh, detail with the uh, with our, our uh, parsing of the lips, her breaths, and now again we got surrounds the spatial sound on, and still the background vocalist got nice separation, very clean. All right, give very, very clean, very clear sound, good detail. Again, I didn't have it turned all the way up uh, because of, you know, I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything while doing this, but uh, again, very nice, nicely set, nicely done. All right, let's, I know uh, bass is not going to be a, a foray with these earbuds, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try anyway. We're just going to see how it sounds. Let's go into our bass song. Okay, again, it's what I expected. I'm only gonna do 30 seconds here of this, and then we're gonna go with, let me turn off spatial sound. Yeah. Yeah, it, 
Yeah, even though, even with the, uh, even with this genre, this form factor, the bass is not is it, it's not as powerful as having like a, a actual earbud in sealed in, give you that thump and everything. Um, it's just the way the, the you know we all know it's the way the open ear here, but hits the ear and everything like that. Uh, so you lose something when it comes to the bass and everything. So I just wanted to test that real quick just to say that I did. And that's my thoughts on it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, substitute that with another song. Here we go. Let me go ahead and we on spatial sound. Yep, we got spatial sound turned on. All right. I don't know why I went back there. All right. Here, we're going to go with Guns N' Roses here. Here we go. Let's go. All right. Okay, that lead that lead guitar, that guitar solo at the beginning rather. Slash is killing it. And it sounds very crisp. Again, we got spatial sound on. Uh, nice sound stage. You got the background, the backup guitarist there. You got the drums. Nice. Very clean. Very clear. Now it's about to pick up. All right. Very clean. Okay. I like the way this sounds. It's very nice. Okay. Now we got the lead vocalist in. Very clear. Again, we're using spatial sound, so the vocalist is more pronounced. So you got that nice separation. Very clean. I like the way that sound. Uh, I would prefer to use these with the sound separation on, in my opinion. Let's um, go ahead and we want to confirm that. We're going to go ahead and do one more song, and then we're going to jump into some spoken word, uh, see how it sounds there. All right, let's go ahead. Our final song here real quick. Again, spatial sound is turned on. Nice and clear. Very crisp with the high keys and low keys. All right, nice sound with the uh, again sound stage nice and wide. So you said they got that good separation, very clear. Again, I'm not turning this all the way up. Well, we turn it up a little bit longer. Okay, but again, that sounds really good. Now we let's go ahead and uh, see how it sounds. We'll turn on spatial sound here. All right, let's go back in. Okay, slight difference, a slight difference, but still you got that nice clarity. The low end is, is comfortable, very nice, very clean. All right, sounds really crisp and everything. I like that. All right, let's go ahead real quick. We're gonna jump into one of my audio books. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to get through Inferno. <laughs> I got 12 hours, 15 minutes, or 13 minutes left of this, so it's, it's, it's starting to pick up now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hit play on this to see how the vocals sound. All right, we're going to turn. Very nice. All right, we're going to turn this down to about 50. Nice volume to it. Very clear sound. I, I definitely enjoy it. Definitely, yeah, you can hear this with no problem whatsoever. Very clean. Very nice. All right, so spoken word sounds really good, uh, nice and clear, and you got good clarity when it comes to uh, vocals and instruments, nice sound stage and everything, nice sound separation as well. But, yeah, as far as bass goes, uh, no. <laughs> uh, and I'm not blaming the earbuds. I'm blaming the form factor. Uh, you just don't get the thump, the reverb, and everything like you would expect in just a regular earbud. And I hope no one goes in, uh, per goes in, purchases, and think you're going to get that type of response uh, from these type, this type of earbud because it's it's not going to happen. All right. So uh, again, it's not the fault of the earbud. It's just the fo the form factor. It's one of the the uh, downsides of the form factor. All right, so 
With that being said, let's go ahead and slide into my likes and dislikes. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in for my likes and dislikes of the Open Rocks X open ear air conduction earbuds. Uh, let's start with my dislikes. Um, my main dislike on these uh, is, you know, again, it's not a, not a fault of theirs, but it's the bass. I'm always going to say that when it comes to uh, these open ear earbuds. That's a one fault that one thing I dislike is the fact that the bass doesn't hit unless you are uh, maxing them out at 100 percent. But then even when you're doing that, then you got sound leakage. Everybody around you can hear what you're listening to. Uh, that's the one thing. Another thing, the USB A, the USB C cable. When are we going to start just going USB C to USB C? I understand, like I said earlier, I understand for legacy devices, but you know everything's starting to use the USB Type C uh, ports on the on uh, laptops, tablets, uh, uh, even de uh, desktop machines have USB Type C ports now. Um, I, I really would like to see them. Uh, phase in into that. Uh, let me see anything else that I do not like about these guys. Uh, hmm. Yes, the fact that the uh, button controls outside of the long press is fixed. I really wish these guys were. Uh, I had these things upside down the whole time. <laughs> I really wish these guys were uh, did not have the fixed. Uh, uh, Controls where you could go ahead and program the touch control the button controls rather how you like I wish you had that freedom here Unfortunately, you do not other than the long press um, That would definitely give you a lot of range on what to do with these earbuds uh, Especially like you give them so many features like voice assistant and stuff like that if you're able to program uh, the both of either program the button control you can incorporate that into uh, all your controls there. I really wish they would do that. Hopefully with a firmware update, they would allow that. Um, anything else? Yes. Uh, understand because of we're dealing with a metal case, there is no wireless charging. So I'm still going to knock that no wireless charging. Um, but I do like this case. Nice, sturdy, strong, you know, it will take some punishment, no problem. But again, no wireless charging. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, complain about that a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and, um, uh, flip over to, uh, my likes as far as what I do. I do like the look of this case, despite the fact no wireless charging and this, the thickness of it. I do like the way it looks a little throwback to earlier cases back in the day. Um, it reminds me of, uh, one of my, uh, JBL, uh, cases, uh, and my, um, uh, which one was that? I think that was a monster case that I had as click and slid out like this, a pair of monster earbuds. Uh, remind me of that as well. Uh, let's see. Um, I like the look of the earbuds themselves. Uh, very clean looking, not too much, not too much on it. You, you know, you got your open rock logo and you got your, uh, bi your biaxial, uh, hinge here. Uh, that's only two offsetting colors there other than the speakers on it as well, just to give you some contrasting color. Very nice. I liked how light these guys are in the ear on the ear. Rather they hook, of course, hook around. They say very, very comfortable to have on long term. Um, uh, the button control, although it takes maybe a second again, uh, at the beginning, but once I start using it more and more, uh, the, it, they start responding a lot quicker as far as my presses and as far as my presses go. So I'm, I'm liking that a lot. And I like the fact that you really don't have to have these turned way up to get good sound out of them. When you're like walking outside and everything, when you got ambient sound around you, you don't have to turn it way up to hear, uh, the audio. Um, when it comes to listening to, when it comes to being outside and, you know, walking down the street or something like that, or, or probably on a uh, bus or on a, you know, only some commuter device, commuter uh, vehicle or anything like that. You can don't have to have these maxed all that a hundred percent in order to hear, uh, what you're listening to. Wow. I really like that. That's, that's very nice. That's, uh, a tribute to the design 
and everything as far as the speakers and everything. So uh, I think that covers every. Oh, another thing I like. I like the fact I know I put this away that they do offer this little carrying case. The little, I like, you know, if you don't want to carry this around, you can drop them right in here. And you can also hook it into onto your your bag or whatever, or you just slide it in your pocket. I like the fact that they offer this as a as an option. Again, but however, you cannot charge off of this. This does not charge your earbuds at all, but it does give you a, a, a thinner case to carry in your pocket and stuff as opposed to uh, the brick here. But I like the fact that they do offer, give you that as an option. All right, so I think that covers all of my likes and dislikes. Oh, one more thing I do like. I do like the app, what it offers. Slim, it's very uh, streamlined, gives you everything you need for the earbuds. And... Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and add that to my like my like pile. All right, so uh, I think that covers everything up. Uh, that I got yeah. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so this has been an unboxing and review of the Open Rock X Open Ear Air Conduction Sport Earbuds. Huge shout out once again to Open Rocks for reaching out to the channel to provide this product for an honest unboxing and review. Definitely something uh, a product to look for look into if you guys are in this. Uh, fitness or hey you just looking for an open ear pair of earbuds for travel uh, uh, or just being doing housework being at work wherever if you're looking for this type of earbud and you don't want the the standard in in ear uh, with the ear tips and being able to seal off everything you want to be uh, weary of your surroundings all the time definitely want to give these guys a look I think you will not be disappointed in them at all all right so if you like what you see go ahead and hit the like button if you want to join me as i continue to do videos like this and others go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you're notified when videos like this and others drop and i will see you guys on the next one peace